Do you know? I know this. This is incriminating. <laughs> <laughs> I should have just laid in the cut and let you, Sam you say go, this. You go. I don't know. His, his, his birth name or his professional name? <laughs> uh, I would call it his Josh. nom de guerre. His nom de guerre, sure. <laughs> He's got quite a de guerre. <laughs> <laughs> Please welcome to the stage two absolute freaks of nature, comedy-wise, I mean. It's the hilarious Sam Jay and the uproarious Josh Gondelman. Hi. Bring it in, bring hi, it in. hi, 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 hi. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Come yeah, on thank in. Thank you for having us. Uh, hello. Hello. Hi, hi, guys. So you're touring the country. You're both, doing, you're both touring and doing shows across the country? Yes. That's right. You notice any difference when you're in a, uh, a blue city and a red state or a red city and a blue state? No, everybody's dumb. Although, blue city and a red state, they look both ways and go, thank you for coming here. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what happens? Yeah. I've, even red cities and red states. The, the, whoever shows up for me in Oklahoma City, they kind of go, we can't believe oh, you're here. Oh, yeah. I feel like there's a small town. Yeah, yeah that's I true, too. I feel like you just go to a little place where they already know nobody should be there, and mm -hmm. they like, we appreciate you stopping yeah. by. Right, like you... like. You're doing a show, but they treat it like you stopped into their restaurant. Yeah. And like have a free slice of pie. Because they that. have to live there and they know people shouldn't be there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is a segment about political freaks. <laughs> what political freak do you think is due for a comeback? One pitch? Christine O'Donnell, the Delaware Tea Partier who had to tell everybody she wasn't a witch in 2010. Wow. Oh, I thought she meant freaky like sex freaky. Mm -hmm. There Damn. are plenty of those, too. Yeah, I was about to be like, bring back that sloppy bottom kid. <laughs> that was getting the butt inside the Senate chambers. Oh, yeah. Just, just applaud if you're here. <laughs> no, you're not. No, <laughs> not everyone. I know you're all here. <laughs> I mean the guy that fucked in the Senate. Te oh, wait, technically, that's at least two guys. I appreciate him. You it's said the guy, but that wasn't just one guy. It was guy. two of them. Yeah, they, definitely two cool. guys. He popped it off. <laughs> I just, we just, I'm sorry to interrupt. So I said, are you here? And a group of you said, yes, I am. <laughs> like you, not the you we were talking about, but you personally. Well, we Amazing. might just have a bunch of people who have fucked in the Senate here. That's another possibility. We don't know. Oh, wow. We don't know. This, this feels like a vibe of people that are going to go home, crank NPR real loud, and get freaky. I think <laughs> that's happening after this tonight. It's possible. <laughs> get a little Terry Gross. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. 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 <laughs> Terry Gross? No, after hours is Terry Nasty. <laughs> <laughs> All thongs considered. <laughs> That's beautiful. I like to just point out that I had set that all up. None of that would have happened. Full credit. None of that happened without me. If I didn't say freaky sloppy bottom, <laughs> we don't get to Terry Gross, Terry Nasty. Mm -hmm. then I we don't, don't get to that. I wouldn't have started with freaky sloppy bottom, so I'm very grateful for you. Thank you. Yeah, it was all, it was all fruit of the Sam J tree. <laughs> And, and speaking of fruit, nope. <laughs> but what if that had worked? Holy shit. <laughs> we're, tonight we're inaugurating a new segment, Sam. Josh, I'm going to quiz you about some truly top-notch freaks, and at the end, you will have to crown our Freak of the Week. Let's do it. Yep. Oh, Great. That's nice. mm, mm, mm. First question. This week, runner Tom Gilby went viral after doing what at every mile marker of the London Marathon? You go first. Okay. Took a shit. I was gonna say doo doo. We both say we both say took no, a no, shit. No, 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 I'm changing. Oh, mind. no, you're changing. Okay, fine. Okay, Josh say doo doo. I'ma say jerked off, but not to completion. That show. Sure, let's see, jerked off, but not to completion on the big board. Even imagine that on Family <laughs> Feud. Imagine how Steve Harvey would react. <laughs> <laughs> no, in fact, he sipped a glass of wine. Oh, that's, not, that's okay. cute. 
We were going way oh, freakier. Oh, he sniffed it too. He did it right. He put his nose in first. Yeah. Was he running with the wine? Mm -hmm. He would run, have a sip, keep running. There was somebody waiting with a different glass of wine at every mile marker. What's the problem? There's no problem. Oh, I thought he got in trouble for this. I'm like, why? It's cute. Yeah, we went way freakier. No, yeah, you went way freaky with it. I, I was, I don't know where I'm at. This guy. I'm sorry. I feel like we're, we, in I'm this case. I'm going to recalibrate myself. I've he's, been. He's sort of a freak in a sweet way. Yeah. You know? Yeah. He's a sweet freak. Freaky. I got to get my mind out the gutter. You say freaky, you just mean anomaly. I'm mm -hmm. saying freaky like doing it in the butt. Yeah. And okay. for some people, that's an anomaly. <laughs> for others, it's their every goddamn day. Mm -hmm. Every day. Okay, wow. Some people just have a stamina. True. And it's a true. hunger. So we have a clip. He tried a different glass at every stop. Could be a Pinot Noir. Perkins of Pinot Noir from Burgundy. 2018. He drank so much that's wine. That's cool. I, that's two brags, right? Because it's like, I can run a marathon and I can hold my liquor. Yeah, and I can identify the glasses, the wine as I go. Mm -hmm. It's like sort of a third nah, that's brag. Fire. Yeah, this pretty is pretty cool. cool. Yeah, yeah, I like this guy. Thanks Next so. up. David Pecker, the insanely named former publisher of the National Enquirer, testified this week at Trump's hush money trial about using a scheme to crush Trump-related stories. What is that scheme called? Oh. It's is the broad name, right? See, yeah, the broad name. Else, a, is it a catch and kill? It is a catch and kill. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's yeah. what I was going to say, too. We are so aligned mm -hmm. tonight, Sam. <laughs> I wasn't going to say pussy busters. <laughs> I was not gonna Mr. say that. Mr. Pecker, can you tell us how you orchestrated this pussy buster <laughs> I scheme? I was gonna say that. Next up, an Australian porn star went viral after he gave a street interview in which he revealed he makes over $80,000 a month on OnlyFans. What is that man's name? Do you know, I know this, this is incriminating. Uh, <laughs> I should have just laid in the cut and let you, Sam you say go, this. You go, I don't know. His, his, his birth name or his professional name? <laughs> uh, I would call it his Josh. nom de guerre. His nom de guerre, sure. <laughs> he's got quite a de guerre in, in his oh, pants. His, um, his, his dick man? It is, he goes by Girthmaster. That's yes. correct. Girthmaster. Yeah. Yeah. His name well, is... Well, because I read the news. Oh, wow, he looked girthy. His name is the Girthmaster. I like that. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't going to say Pussy Buster. I th oh. He's both, I think. Uh. When the Girthmaster family, he's actually from Germany, when the Girthmaster family came in through Ellis Island, they changed it to Pecker. Did you see it? <laughs> <laughs> I caught it late. That's fun. <laughs> I feel like odds are someone here is a, is a client of, or a customer of... I don't know. I don't think he's cute anymore. I saw him on the big screen. On the little one, it looked better than the big one. But I will say... He looks girthy. But I'm wondering, now I want to know, is it, all right, I'm not going to ask. But because sometimes it could be girthy but short. That ain't fun. Well, he, does, so he, he like, doesn't is call it, himself is it the long? chode master. Is it long? Yeah. I don't think you call yourself the girth master if it's not. Longy? I mean, yeah, and you don't get the 80,000 a month. I don't know the rules of dick. I'm a lesbian. I don't know if you do or don't. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, I it think. It is kind of nice to claim your best quality, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that's just right. good marketing. That's why my OnlyFans name is Good at Dark Souls 3. <laughs> <laughs> good at Dark Souls 3 Master. <laughs> I think there are other lesbians here because when someone saw this photo, they shouted, I just want that plant. <laughs> referring, referring to the plant oh, that one? behind that's him. Healthy. That's the girthy thing you want. It's a healthy plant. It's a healthy plant. Look it at that. It looks good. It tells you something. $80,000 a month. Okay. It's yeah, he's good at fucking Monstera. <laughs> um, save that shit for Emily's garden yeah, show. Yeah, 80, 80. Damn. Damn. These they people are Terry Nasty out here. <laughs> they are. They love it. I was just going to say, you make mm. that $80,000 a month. You, why didn't you show us the penis, too? That, that would have helped everything. Then. I wouldn't have asked my chode question. Yeah, I just think it's hard during the day when you're prepping for the show to send a note saying, hey, reminder, we need a huge picture of a dick All right. to put in the slideshow. Do you want to inform the public or don't you? <laughs> It'll That's go true. between okay. 
go between Mehdi Hassan, Mehdi Hassan and, <laughs> and the part where I plug future tour dates. <laughs> Need a huge picture of a schlong. Yeah. It would have right. helped. Next up. Carrie Lake grumbled to the Idaho Dispatch that the Arizona Supreme Court said this is the law in Arizona, but unfortunately the people running our state have said they're not going to enforce it, so it's really political theater. What Arizona law is she referring to? Is, well, there's a couple laws in Arizona that are big in the news this week. A couple girthy laws. <laughs> mm, I, don't, I don't know anything about Arizona. Well, it's, is, it's even drier than it used to be. Is it... Was it the abortion ban? Yeah, it was the abortion ban. I had to get that right, because if I only knew Girthmaster, it'd <laughs> be pretty Probably humiliating. Yeah. yeah. Three Republicans voted with uh, every House Democrat uh, to overturn the ban, but most of the Republicans were pretty pissed and are throwing off those Republicans from their committee. Yeah, I heard about that. I just didn't know that it was happening in Arizona. I kind of, when I hear news like that, I just put it all in this state of crazy whiteness, and I just... I'm like, it's in one of those crazy white places. But I should have paid more attention <laughs> to the fact that it was Arizona specifically. After losing contact in November, NASA has begun receiving dispatches from the farthest man-made object in the universe. Do you know what that object is? Farthest man-made object in the universe? It's the, it is the Girth Master. <laughs> It does have a gravitational pull, yeah. So it makes sense that we're Actually, those. it's the Girthmaster 3000. <laughs> <laughs> it's Voyager 1. Was he, in, was he an outcast? Australian outcast? <laughs> <laughs> the Voyager 1 probe came back online and started sending scientific oh, data shit. for the I, first time in six months. Wow, that's cool. I forgot about Voyager 1. I think it's... No, nah, real shit. That's cool. I'm so glad Captain Janeway is still oh, working. Shit. Is that... Okay. Yeah, yeah a, few, a few nerds, got it. Yeah, yeah. so the, 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 the message came back from Voyager and it says, get seven of nine the fuck out of here. <laughs> this is my show. There I don't know go. what that even means. There we go. There we go. <laughs> is that what you were looking for? Thank you. <laughs> I feel so Do they, Did right they now. say what the message was? Um, help, help, they're crawling all over me. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's all we got. Wow. Uh, yeah, it was new parents have it so hard. <laughs> The, the, the ship is 15 billion miles from Earth, so uh, it takes roughly 22.5 light hours for the information to... Well, no, that's the distance. It takes 22 hours for the information to reach us from, from where it is, which is 22.5 light hours away. Oh, they must get so many spoilers about TV shows. Yeah. <laughs> Just one day ahead. They, it's like, it hasn't even popped up on streaming yet. Why are you yeah. telling me this? And it's like, we were all watching it once. It was the finale. <laughs> Voyager. And finally, and tragically, Karen the Ostrich died after eating what oh, yeah. at a Topeka Zoo and Conservation yeah. Center? I'm going to say a zoo hot dog. Mm. Wait, I've got this. This I know this one. Damn. It's keys. The, ate a ring of keys. How? Are, are, like, ostrich can swallow like huge shit even though they neck small like that? No, they can't. Asked and answered. All right. And there we have it. Karen sent herself to ostrich heaven, also known as human hell. <laughs> 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 After reaching through the keys of her enclosure, she snatched the keys. Do you think that she, they looked like food to her? Or do you think she saw a bowl full of keys and was like, everyone at the orgy is coming home with ring? Karen? <laughs> Like, is it, okay, so this is, all right, so let me tell you all my mind. Okay, so that's this reason why I asked seemingly a dumb question. Because you say 10 keys, so now I'm thinking like a big-ass janitor ring, like a janitor ring. Because it's mad keys. So I'm like, how the ostrich, but, or was it a bunch of keys on a little ring, like enough to swallow and get stuck? I feel like the question you're asking is, was this the key ring to a zookeeper, or was this the key ring to a lesbian zookeeper? Yes. Yes, yes. Like, what kind of key ring? Yes. Are we talking about a yes. fun home Thank you for Bechtel key ring? Like a giant yeah. ass realization from right. across the way that you're right. a lesbian I'm like, key immediately ring? Immediately, the ostrich can't do that, and you could save the ostrich. Yeah. But if it got down far enough where it was like, he dead, then that had to be like a lesbian one. Right. Like, was there a Subaru key on this thing? Yeah. And a what bunch we, of little joints. Yeah. On a carabiner. For like diaries and shit. Yeah. For diaries. 
<laughs> Not even singular time. No, no, just a bunch. A bunch. I need to be a better ally. <laughs> <laughs> It's Sam a lot. And, some just for your mom, some for, mm -hmm. you know, separate. <laughs> Must have been awkward waiting to get your keys back. You got to let them keys go. I guess. That's the, re that's the right thing I to mean, do. I mean, right thing to do is an ostrich. We, we eat birds. You cut open a bird to get your keys. I mean, what? that's savage. Think about it. What's more... <laughs> You, you just let, you just bit, what? You, you have a few, the one bird funeral happens to be the one where your keys go in the yeah. ground? This is a zoo If bird. a chicken swallowed your keys, you this have a different fucking- This is a zoo bird though, it's not just any, those, these are elite birds, they have the zoo. <laughs> we don't, <laughs> you have to give we don't them, send them- You have to give them the respect of a zoo bird in a, yeah. in a zoo bird's funeral. Like, Do you think every ostrich gets buried <laughs> at sea? <laughs> no, they bury him in the ground head first. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's perfect place to go to the final moment of this segment, which is when we crown our freak of the week. Just to remind you, we have the marathon wine guy, David Pecker, the girth master, Carrie Lake, Voyager One, or Karen, the ostrich. My money's on the ostrich. Is the ostrich our freak of the week? What do you think? You I, can pick a different one. Oh, can we have co-freaks? Yeah. I'll check um, with the judges, but I think it can be allowed. Okay. I um I the wine guy, the wine marathon yeah. guy. Oh, yeah. okay. I think that's was... a cute pairing, the wine guy and the ostrich. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ironically, the wine guy should have had his keys taken away from him. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's what happened. She was like, "You can't drive home," and the guy was like, "It's fine. I have a great metabolism." <laughs> Sam J. Josh Gondelman, thank you so much for thank being here. Thank you. Thank you.